do you say no? No, a mother should not be tried. Does that very idea repulse you? Then I ask you, where are you? Are you right now standing at your capital, opposing the justice system that protects you? Are you demanding that the justice system protecting you be torn down? Are you at your state capital right now demanding that a class of people be given a license to kill you? to take your life with impunity, to give legal immunity to your would-be murderer? Where are you doing these things? If you're going to be consistent, if everyone who commits murder is a victim, then why aren't you saying that, oh, okay, wait a second, no, I get it, I get it. I've seen this before. Laws for protecting me, but not for thee. Law of protecting me, but not to protect thee. How privileged, how privileged you are to stand in the security of a justice system protecting your life and to deny that justice system to others just because they're different than you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hear a lot about privilege these days? Well, I'm here to tell you what we have a lot of in this country and in the Republican Party and in the pro-life movement. Born privilege. Born privilege. We've got born privilege. It's so easy to fall into that. It's a bias we all have, and we're guilty of to some extent. But if it affects you to such an extent that you want to deny to another person the equal protection of the laws that protect you, then you do not really believe that they're a person. You do not really believe that they are created equal. You do not really believe that they are made in the image of God like you. No, that's just a privilege that you get to enjoy for which you did nothing to earn. You were born. Congratulations, you made it. Now you get equal protection. But you want to deny it to those who are not as privileged as you because you don't really believe they're persons. 